Hello everyone and welcome back to Coins and More UK. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and in today's video we are looking at a really special packaged coin which was issued by the Royal Mint in 2017. Okay so in today's video we are going to be looking at the 2017 Isaac Newton 50p coin. Now I've been waiting to get my hands on this for quite some time now and uh, yeah I managed to pick this up on eBay for a really good price. So I couldn't turn it down. And of course it is easily one of my favourite 50p designs. It's just gorgeous. Just what a stunner. Let's try and get this zoomed in just there. And of course Sir Isaac Newton 2017 UK 50p. Brilliant uncirculated coin. And then just before we turn over actually we've got the apple just there. And we all know how we can relate this apple to Sir Isaac Newton. And again we've, on the back we've just got some coin specifications. The denom denomination 50p. Now, who's the reverse designer? Aaron West on this one. And of course, Jodie Clark is the uh, obverse designer. And on the back, we've just got uh, some information. So, the pursuit of truth. And then it says Sir Isaac Newton was the towering intellectual giant of the scientific revolution. And of course, he really was. Now, um, ever since I've had this, I've refused to open it up until I film this video. So as you can imagine, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting inside this and having a look at all the information supplied with the coin. So without any uh, further waiting, let's get this open and let's have a look what's inside, shall we? Okay, so here we go. This is it, finally getting it inside this. Now I'm going to try and be a little bit careful because I do want to look after this one. So let's slip you off to one side for a moment just there. And let's see if we can get some zoom. And a better look at the coin. Oh, look at that. Especially when it's uh, in uncirculated condition, it looks even better. Just look at that. What an absolute stunner. Okay, so let's have a look. Here we go. Oh, wow. So, uh, Wentz, yeah, I presume that says Wentz. Wentz is it the sun and planets gravitate towards each other without dense matter between them. So, Isaac Newton. There we go, let's have a look at the uh, obverse of the coin just there. Oh, what a belter. I was actually struggling to show the, uh, the proper sheen on the coin because of this black. And it's playing havoc with my zoom. That's awesome. So let's have a look at some further information. And again, please feel free to pause this video anytime if you want to take a, a further read. We should just have a quick browse through it. So where inspiration strikes. Today, Newton may be uh, best known for this story of the apple falling from the tree. Seeing the apple fall in the garden of his family home made him wonder why it dropped in a straight line rather than moving upwards or sideways. And there he is sitting underneath the tree and of course an apple fell on his head and gravity was born. So we've got a king's of business. Uh, the clarity of vision that shaped Newton's scientific work also drove his dedication to what he called the king's business at the Royal Mint. That's, that's crazy. Fantastic information. And then coins produced at the branch mints established during the Great Recoinage can be identified by the mint marks B for Bristol, C for Chester, E for e um, Exeter, N for Norwich and Y for York. And there we go, a bit of a close-up of the mint mark, just there. Of course, Sir Isaac Newton, master of the mint. And we've got some more information, just there, pure vision. So, Newton tackled the problem of counterfeiting with great determination, believing the best safeguard against fraud was the quality of the genuine coins. As warden of the mint, he also kept detailed records of suspected counterfeiters and prosecuted them with pertinical vigour. I probably said that wrong. But again, we all know Isaac Newton uh, had a big role to play um, uh, with the Royal Mint. And of course, just uh, at the bottom just there, of course, Newton was appointed Master of the Mint on the 25th of December 1699, his 57th birthday, and remained in the role until his death in March 1727 by which time British coins could claim to be the best made and most trusted in the world. Some really good information. And there we have a stunning portrait of Sir Isaac Newton just there. 
this booklet's fantastic. I do love some of the information in here. I'm really quite excited. So let's start. Uh, we've done that bit. Let's go over to here. The design and its designer. So we've got a bit of information about Aaron West. So Aaron West is a member of the Royal Mint's team of graphic designers. And of course, he, he yeah, he easily produced one of the most stunning designs on a 50p coin, if not any coin in the entire world. And then some more information just there. Mathematical truths. So Sir Isaac Newton was bought in... Well, let's try that again, shall we? So Sir Isaac Newton was born in Walsthorpe, Lincolnshire, on 25th of December 1642. Now that is something I didn't know. Now I am actually from Lincolnshire and that's come as a big surprise actually. I'm really quite humbled to actually uh, come from the same county as uh, Sir Isaac Newton. That is crazy. Pluto is my friend. Aristotle is my friend, but my greatest friend is truth. And uh, again, last bit of information with some diagrams and also the manner, the birthplace of Isaac Newton. Uh, Newton's most famous research includes the invention of calculus, the mathematics of change that helps us understand the behavior of objects as tiny as electrons or as large as galaxies. And some diagrams just there. Wow, what a fantastic booklet. And I've, I've actually learned something new. I can't believe Isaac Newton comes from Lincolnshire. And I'm from Lincolnshire. That is absolutely crazy, but fantastic. And let's have one more final look at that coin. And what an absolute stunner it is. Really happy to finally get this. In terms of bonks, um, because uh, you know, as uh, James E.B. Hoyt always says, I've got far too many bunk packs. I certainly do put the fun back in the, in the bunks. And this is just one of a few remaining that I did actually need to complete uh, my whole backlog of bunk packs. Really nice. So let's put that down there and I'm just going to put this back in its packaging before I finish off this video. There we go, it's safely back in its hang bag and it will be staying there for all eternity. Okay, so there we have it. I've really enjoyed this video. I couldn't wait to film it. If you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like. And of course, um, if you want to leave me a comment, let me know if you've got this coin, exactly what you think of it. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions you'd like to ask, that's absolutely fantastic as well. I do endeavour to answer any questions that are put into the comments on my videos. Uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed this. And uh, of course, if you want to subscribe to my channel for lots of fantastic coin content, please feel free to do so. And if you press the notification bell, you'll always be uh, notified when I upload new videos like this. Um, so uh, that's the end of the video. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watches and supports my channel. And uh, until next time, um, I just want to say always remember there's always two sides to every coin if you take the time to look.